Morning guys, June the 16th, really good. Um, I've slept well. I just want to explain a little bit. So what I'm talking about in this video, oh, it's upside down, is this book. Um, I read this book every day. Um, so if you just look at it, nice picture. And on today's um, entry, it's the 16th of June. Um, and what it's got talked to me, I've made a few notes, is God is always present, that's the title. Um, I don't want, I don't think it's really attractive to to go on about God, the God squad I call it. Um, so in light of that, and I'm shutting my eyes because I do that blinking thing, it's weird, so I'm trying to control it. Um, and it's easy to just shut my eyes, but... Um, so God is always present for me. I done me. I done. I'm doing work on myself. Um, and I found a higher power in my nature. Without getting all God squad again, um, it's really worked for me. It's really helped me. It's given me a peace. The reason why I don't chat it is it is the solution for me. I've seen that work for thousands of people on Zoom in real life. Um, wherever I've gone, there's people who do what I do. And God is present for them, uh, not always present because it comes and goes, um, but you end up in trouble. Um, and the reason why I'm not all preachy, preachy, I don't, hopefully I never will be, but um, basically because I'm still exploring what it means to me at the minute, it just gives me an inner peace and inner calmness to know that everything's all right. I made a few notes. So, um, yeah, so the God of my understanding is quite tough at the minute. Um, it's, I don't believe, it's not I don't believe, I'm still a jury still out for me on Christianity and things like that, um, simply because, um, so the Muslims, let's just break, break it down into two sides, Muslim and Christian. Um, it means, although one may be right, it means one is wrong. So for me, religion is not now anyone who is religious i don't i have nothing against it i truly mean that it's just i'm not picking a religion because that makes some people wrong um so that's just my stance on it so i'm not saying i never will follow religion um but for me at this moment in time my fledgling experience of exploring what god means to me um it's definitely not religious at this stage but he is there for me he does know everything um one thing it's done it's me stopped me obsessing about me past so if you watch the how videos on here people who have who are attractive to me don't regret the past it actually molds you and it um it's been talking about this today and um, so i've got to deal with the past i've got to make amends and things like that and there's still stuff in me past that of haunts me but I'm, I'm dedicated now to seeing this through to putting things right um they may never be right. This is just my my wishes, if you like. Um, but yeah, I'm engaged to put things right, draw a line under the sand, and move forward with peace. Um, one thing that's done is change me perspective. Um, that's one thing that, that everything happens for a reason. Uh, I don't always know that reason. There's some horrific stuff happened to me, both in the past and quite present, that I can't, not me personally, to others around me, but really affected me. Uh, an example is my dad's dying. I cannot see the reason behind that, but there's elements to it that I'm coming to accept that it's, it's molded me into the person I am. It, it took me out the game for a while. When I say a while, I'm talking about decades. Um, but it's come back. It's making me a stronger person now. It's making me know that addiction kills, so I must address this so not to do to my children what was done to me. So, yes, yeah, that's a positive today. Um, the Grateful Addict, the, the last entry on The Quiet Peace, it was a couple of days ago about a Grateful Addict. I'm grateful today, partly because of this fledgling uh, faith I do have. Um, today I'm grateful and it's not always been the case um, and I do believe that that gratitude going will be the start of trouble happening for me um, it said in the in the book that God made me perfect I struggle with that um, I know uh, pardon my French but my shit stinks um, I know that I'm not perfect I have perfectionism I, str I strive for perfection and that is painful but now I accept um, 
when I make a mistake, if I see it, um, I accept that I'm not perfect. But it says in this that God made me perfect. So it's weird. I'll take that. I really respect the book. So, yeah, I am perfect. Sorry, guys. Um, and then finally, the little saying at the bottom, I'm just going to read this out. Everything in life is either a lesson or a blessing. Usually it's both. That blew me away this morning. Um, when you're in pain, um, there's a lesson to be had. That's something I've learned recently. It's not really been tested for me yet. Like I say, if I can't if if I can't see the reason, but the the lesson is the pain. I've heard the saying that pain will leave you when the lesson's done. Um, if, some, if you're stuck in pain, which grief done to me, you end up in um, you end up in what's the word? So if you get laid in pain, you end up suffering. Um, it's a case of now with this fledgling higher power. Hopefully, once pain comes, I can see the lesson and not suffer too much. I know I'm not worried of suffering, but just hopefully in what I'm doing, um, I won't suffer. And by me not suffering, the people who love me hopefully won't suffer. By learning lessons is helping them. But the blessing side of things, um, I do feel blessed today. Um, things are going well. I've got to be. I've got to be stay state that things are going well for me at the minute. So talking gratitude and and happy. It's quite easy at the minute. The test will come in the future. Um, but yeah, happy today. I'm off the gym. Um, good day ahead of cleaning my diary. Not working today. So I'm a man of leisure. So yeah, uh, I've got a bit of money in the bank. Got some nice food. So in the next 24 hours at this stage, it's now about half six in the morning. Seem good. Uh, I won't think past that. But yeah, have a great day, guys. Stay connected.